Welcome to Always Dolls and thanks for joining us. Today we share with you how to make a Thanksgiving turkey for your American Girl dolls that doesn't use clay. This simple DIY was fun to make and best of all used easily available household materials and scraps from our crafting stash. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and subscribe to support our channel. So let's get making! For your turkey you will need tissues and aluminium foil. Scrunch up your tissues to make a ball for the body of the bird. Wrap with more sheets of tissue until it feels firm. We used four tissues. Pull the tissues tight at the bottom to get a teardrop shape. To hold the tissue in place, wrap with a piece of aluminium foil, then press the back of the body on your work surface to make it flat. Use your index finger to make a shallow dip for the neck cavity and rub your thumbs along the side to make spots for the legs. Here we cut 5cm lengths off a brown paper straw for the drumstick. Wrap the top half of your straw with a smaller piece of tissue until you get a nice thickness. Again, to keep the shape, wrap with aluminium foil and press the back side flat. Repeat for a second leg. Take an 8cm wide strip of foil and roll it up for the turkey wing. Bend it in half then back on itself before pinching the tip forward. It should look something like this. Make a second. With all our pieces ready, take a drumstick and put hot glue on the flat side. Adhere to the body of the bird, fitting it into the impression you made earlier. Repeat for the other leg. Put a line of hot glue along the side of the wing piece attaching it slightly higher than the leg and with the tip facing outward as seen on screen. The turkey skin is tissue paper and glue. Generously coat your bird with liquid glue. Then drape with your tissue paper. Use your fingers or a paintbrush to smooth the tissue paper around the curves and into the crevices. Use smaller pieces of tissue paper to wrap around the wings. Keep layering until you have covered the whole turkey front and back. Set aside to dry. Next, fill the open end of your straw with hot glue. This will also give it more strength. Here, we mixed raw sienna with a little white paint for an all-over turkey base layer. Next, apply a light brown colour to give depth to the centre of the chest, tops of the thighs, wings and in the creases. You only need to shade the front of the bird. Following this, Take a reddish brown paint and concentrate this colour at the neck, making a V shape. Add this colour to the front and back of the wings and along the outside edge of the thighs for a delicious golden glow. For that extra crispy look, take burnt umber and dry brush over the very tip of the wings, legs and centre of the body since this is where the oven heat roasts the bird the most. At the moment, our turkey is looking dry, not juicy. So give it a generous coat of gloss Mod Podge. Okay, to serve, we will use this AG platter from the Grand Hotel set. Trace around it to cut a circle of green cardstock. For garnish, we removed the leaves from these cheap fake flowers. Put hot glue on the bottom of the leaf and adhere to the edge of your cardstock. Keep adding more leaves around the edges so it looks full. We left a small gap at the top for the widest part of the turkey. For colour, we have a pack of fruit erasers bought at Daiso. Cut the eraser into segments before hot gluing into the garnish. We also use clusters of red styrofoam berries from our Christmas crafting stash. When you are happy with the arrangement, pop your Thanksgiving turkey in the centre. Here, we randomly placed sprigs from a plastic plant to add height near the wings. Turkey's looking great, but let's add one more thing. Roll 2cm wide strips of computer paper into tiny tubes, cut slits halfway down the paper, then fan them out to give our turkey leg caps for that final festive flourish. Combine this craft with our previous Thanksgiving food tutorial and your dolls are ready to celebrate. We'd love it if you hit that like button, subscribed and turned on the bell. See you soon for more miniature crafting fun!